let us discuss this result of beta function so here we have to prove that three terms are equal a is equal to b is equal to c so out of that one equality we have already proved in our previous theorem so let us write let us recall that theorem and let us prove it okay this theorem also so previous theorem says beta of m n plus 1 divided by n is equal to beta of m plus 1 n divided by m so this part we have already done okay in our previous video as well as one more important theorem we have studied okay so i write and and beta of m n is equal to beta of m plus 1 n plus beta of m n plus 1 okay so this one also we have already proved it okay so see using equation 1 what can we say about beta of m plus 1 n if i shift m on this side we can get the value of beta of m plus 1 n let us put that value here so this is equal to i'm shifting m on this side so this is m by n right beta of m n plus 1 so we replace the first term by this one plus i will copy the second term as it is beta of m n plus 1 i need to mention from 1 from 1 so this is equal to see fortunately we have got these two terms are equal right so we can take it common so if you take it common we will have m by n and here we'll have 1 beta of m n plus 1 so you can easily see we can cross multiply so after cross multiplication what will you get let me write the left hand side beta of mn we started with this term okay and what we are getting by cross multiplication m plus n by n beta of what we are getting m n plus 1 see n plus 1 is in uh, there is a multiplication between them so if you shift it there you will have a division so therefore beta of m comma n divided by m plus n is equal to beta of m n plus 1 divided by n i will call it as equation number 2 so see this one is equal to this one but we have already said this one is equal to this one so if you combine 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 what we get we we'll start with this one beta of mn divided by m plus n is equal to beta of m n plus 1 divided by n is equal to this is nothing but this one both of them are equal so that's why we can write beta of m plus 1 n divided by m so in this way we proved this result okay you can make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye